Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Calvin, yesterday we caught you up with Game of Thrones. Yeah. But you are not yet, you haven't absorbed all Game of Thrones media yet. No? And certainly not the trailer for season six. Oh. So uh, there was a small tealer, uh, teaser. <laughs> <that> teaser. <came, laughs> teaser. A trailer teaser. Yeah. There was a small teaser that came out called like Hall of Faces. Yeah. You can probably guess what that Where? Had. That is, Maybe. yeah, it's the, um, it's the House of Black and White, right? And Yeah, it, it is. And there was a small teaser, but it wasn't only anything new. It was kind of just like a promotional footage, you know. But then the Red Band trailer, and we know the Red Band is like the uncensored trailer, you know? Right. So, well, I don't know if this is necessarily uncensored, but we'll see. Right. Anyway, but this is the big trailer for the, uh, for the season. Right. And Game of Thrones, Calvin, you've never seen any trailers for Game of Thrones. Not a one. <laughs> Not a one. Never had to wait that long. You never did. Now you have to suffer with the rest of us. <sighs> but uh, trailers for Game of Thrones are both awesome and have no idea what you're looking at sometimes. Yeah. But let's just see. All right? Let me get a pen. Get your pen. Keep your eyes glued, though. Write without looking. It's going to be really crappy handwriting. All right. We're going to watch it in three, two, one. Laying bleeding on the floor. World was on fire. No one could save me. But God. We're the only ones who match. And everything they've taken from us, we're going to take back and more. This strange heart desire to make foolish people ill. The great victory I saw in the flames. All of it was a lie. What a wicked game we play. Found a ring. Every one of us is poor and powerless. Yeah, we can overthrow an empire. Great, great, great game now. And the great game is terrifying. So Nick, order your man to step aside or there will be violence. I choose violence. Ollie gonna get his due. I've been much of a fighter. Apologies for what you're about to see. Davos with long claw. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. There's a lot there, wasn't it? Yes, there was. Do you want to go a little frame by frame, see some stuff? Yes. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Calvin, we're gonna go frame by frame in this sucker. Now, me and Shane already did this. Yeah. And this was it was my time, like actually being able to watch it the first time. So now this is like my second time. Okay. I kind of know. I kind of thought about it a little bit more. And people just they want to see Calvin. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do this with no sound. The first shots are Castle Black and after yeah. the wall. And as we see there, it's John laying in the snow where he was stabbed. Yeah. Now correct me if I'm wrong. That's the same uh, Sally Port that. Uh, What's his name was taken out of when he was wounded in the Battle of the Alistair Thorne? Yeah, Alistair yeah. Thorne. I can mm -hmm. never remember that guy's name. Yeah, I know. The dick. Remember, we always talked about Alistair Thorne. I kept always saying, well, you know, he's a dick, but he does stuff for the watch. I kept saying, for the watch, for the watch, yeah. for the watch. <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> no. I'm Fuck sorry. you. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Now, uh, Jamie. Jamie returning, returning to King's Landing with a dead body. With his daughter's and, dead body. And I wonder if Tristane's still there. I don't know what's going to happen there. I don't have any real speculations. Just knowing it's that... It's not his fault. Yeah. It's the fucking... I know. Bitch! I know! <laughs> now, uh, Cersei, who just went through some shame, she's not going to be... I don't think she just happy. went through some shame. Some shame. <laughs> All of the shame. All of the shame. I don't think she's going to be too happy about... No. Yeah, another piece of bad news. So, we got that going on. Okay, that... That's Sir Davos. It looks like to me. It's either... I don't think it's Stannis. It looks like Stannis, it, but... It kind of looked like Stannis. I, I think Stannis is dead. I think that's Sir Davos at the... Where Shireen was burned. Like, look at the piles of wood. It's either where yeah. that happened, or it's where Stannis is buried. 
or something. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's to Sir Davos. Okay. And, and we guys. have Ramsey and Roos. Frickin' Boltons. The Boltons. Now. Looks like Roos is telling Ramsey something bad. Yeah. Something that Ramsey didn't expect. Like, um, you know that battle we just had? There might be more people coming. Right. Because it looks more in this trailer, Colin. Ah! Okay, so... So they're burning a fillet, man. A fillet? It's not fillet. Wow. Well, it's fillet. He's, he's not a fish. Fi- he's not... He's kind of filleted. <laughs> I did it on purpose, Eric. <laughs> And you uh, pointed it out. You yeah. made me look like a fool. I mean, this is this is a man being flayed, burnt uh, upside down, burnt upside down. Yeah. Could it be Stannis? Some people have speculated that. I think it could be Stannis' body. Uh, we don't know. Maybe a symbol. This is what happens. I'm not really sure. It's pretty maybe prominent. It could though. be. It could be. It could just be some guy. Some poor, poor, poor man. Or maybe they're actually doing the right thing and burning the dead. Yeah. How freaky would uh not just like a normal person zombie, but a normal person zombie that is like perfectly preserved, except they have no skin. That would be terrifying. See, this is one thing I've always talked about: is like, how, like you've said this before, how dead is too dead? Yeah. Like I think in terms of damage, it's just like we move. saw full-on skeletons yeah. that were moving yes. super fast. But is that how? How long do you have to be dead? That's that's, what, that's my question. Yeah. Like those skeletons could have like been reanimated after they died, and then it's been around for a really long time, and the flesh just fell off. Or of them. were they like in a grave for a really long time and then reanimated? Because if that's the case, then all of these wars that we've been having, every single death in all of the wars, the War of the Five Kings, the 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 war between the battles, everything that we've seen, all those dead people that were never burned, could potentially become an army of the dead. But if there's like a time limit, or if they were buried, or something, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something about it. Because the uh, the scene where uh, Jojen Reed, yeah, and all of them went into the tree, like those guys looked like they were buried yeah. underground. It did, it did, and they were just like punching through the earth to get up there. Yeah, well, I, yeah, that's true. They were full on skeletons. So I, don't I think know. you're right. But if they were that far north, why didn't why didn't the uh, Night's King just raised them earlier i don't know why did he leave them there maybe they he was he didn't maybe want they were to go guarding them mm-hmm. yeah so maybe they were dead and he put them there i don't know lots of questions cal we did not see bran or hodor or that the entire season five and i'm very unhappy but we had a shot in here yeah red woman she was confessing oh. to davos yeah she was that all of her visions were was, false and she was wrong and she was which wrong. is something we never heard from her before so does that mean that she might, does she still believe in the, the the chosen one that will solve? Maybe she maybe she abandoned Stannis because she thought somebody else was. Who could that be? The one person who resisted her, her sexual onslaught? Maybe. John? <laughs> John Snow. But Calvin, he's dead. So was uh, the guy that was friends with Thoris of Myrrh. Beric Dondarrion. Beric Dondarrion. And if we look, we'll look here later, but some people were guarding John's body. Why would you do yes. that? Mm. All right, uh, Dario and Jora are on the plains. They're doing what my favorite scene in Lord of the Rings is, is whenever Gimli, Legolas, and Aragorn run for the Urukai. Yes. To Isengard. I love that scene. I, I love think this books. is the same country they filmed it <laughs> in, it too. Probably is. <laughs> um, I love it in the book, but in the, the I love it in the movie so much, too. I'm wasted on cross country. <laughs> Us dwarves are very good over short distances. <laughs> okay, so and uh, they do what Aragorn did, finding the uh, the leaf of Lothlorien. They found the ring. Yeah, <laughs> ring. <laughs> Except uh, Jora Mormont didn't break his foot kicking a helmet. No. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. I love okay. that part. Okay. Let's keep going. They Danny have... with the Kalasar. Yep. Now, if you remember. Back in season one, I don't know if they said this necessarily in the show, but in the book, whenever a cow dies, their wife or their Khaleesi has to go to Vale's Dothrak and join the other widowed Khaleesi's. So they have to stay there. They have to stay there. They don't like burn them or no, kill them or. I don't, I don't think so. It's just it's just like they die it's like a Dothraki tradition. I okay. think I'm probably have it wrong, and probably people in the comments will be like, "Fuck you," but I'm okay. pretty sure that's what it is. So could they be taking her there? 
And uh, a good clue to that would be the horse. The hooves statue. of... Of a horse. Yeah, th- that that's the same horse. Episode 5 or something? Yeah. Where they were riding under it. When they when they went to Vale's Dothrak. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's a big Kalasaur, though. I think with the absence of Cal Drogo, a lot of the warlords have been fighting and forming bigger Kalasaurs. And but, you can see her. She's the yep. only one with, yep. like, a clean outline. Right there. All the rest of them are dusty. Yep. Shit. Okay. Calvin, we have a gathering of what looks to me, if we can look at the f- standard here on the right, okay. a Kraken. Which yes. Which would mean the uh, Greyjoys. Yeah. Right? Um, I won't go into this too much, because I keep saying, like, well, we're cop of the books now. There's a couple of stories that still are a little ahead of us. Okay. Um, one being the Greyjoy story. Uh, but as we saw, we didn't want to talk about because we were overwhelmed, but Theon and Sansa jumped from the walls of of uh, Winterfell. Theon might be getting back with the Greyjoys. Might be. We'll see. But uh, I just like this. Um, I won't say anything else because... There's a word I was going to say, but Calvin's too smart. He'd figure it out. All right, yeah. We saw Drogon yeah, there. That was that was a big Drogon. He's big. I think that the... the, the I personally think the Dothraki are going to be like, uh, we got you. And they're like, oh, shit. You have a giant dragon. We love you. <laughs> yeah. Now she has another Kalosaur. That's what oh, I, my God. That's, that's, that would be amazing. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what I hope is going to yeah. happen, too. But, so, we'll see. I mean, she did well with her last uh, Kalosaur. She did. But... Okay, now, oh, the yeah. Sparrows saying that you don't want this to come to violence, right? You don't want to choose violence. Yeah, ha- have yeah. your man step aside or we'll leave, there mm-hmm. will be violence. And as we big, see, big motherfucker! With like, a regular size head. <laughs> in comparison to his body. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a quite large head. But she chooses violence, so she's going to have a new... It could be two small heads, and they're like back to back, and that's like... One eye from here, and then, like, the other head here. That's his other eye here. It could be! It could be, Calvin. But it's not. You're right. No, it's not. Um, but she has a new enforcer. She's got a heavy. Yeah, she does. Her champion. Calvin, this shot right here. Who does that look like in the front? That looks a heck of a lot like Eddard Stark. Flashback. Yes. To what? The guy... In the middle there, could that be Robert? It looks like Robert. It might. I don't. It looks a lot like Gendry. It, he kind of does. I don't think it's Robert. I think it's Northman. I think he's wearing the same outfit as Eddard, where Robert will be wearing yellow and black. Okay. I don't think it's Robert, but that sure does look like Eddard. It looks a heck of a lot like Eddard. Now, why, Calvin? Why would we be getting flashbacks to Eddard Stark? Possibly, once and for all, telling. What happened between the Targaryens and uh, the Starks? The Starks. You're talking about Rhaegar? Yeah, Rhaegar yeah. and, uh, shoot, I can't remember her name. Lyanna. Lyanna yeah. Stark. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm angry with myself now. Why are you angry? Because I was trying to, like, I got half of it. Yeah. Like three months ago. What was the half you got? Rhaegar. So what what are you thinking here, Calvin? I'm thinking that he raised his nephew as his son. You he, need... he we were told that I he can't was believe a, I can't he was believe a Stark. Happened. He said, You may not have my name, but you have my blood. Yes. He's not a Stark. He is half Targaryen. What does that mean? It means. <laughs> what does that mean? It means. Calvin. That... <laughs> yes! <laughs> it means that he's. <laughs> Danny's. What? Danny is Rhaegar's younger sister. Okay. So she would be his aunt. Calvin just cracked. Now, I won't say that Calvin did it by himself because he's hurt. The stupid honest trailer told him the formula. Once you have the formula, you just have to have the math, right? Yeah. So, but Detective Calvin using that formula. 
Detective Calvin using the formula might have cracked our... I would have cracked theory. it earlier, but he's got jet black hair. He does. Um, uh, okay. Here's a thing from the books that you might not get. Arya is said to look exactly like Lyanna. John and Arya, both of the Stark children, look alike. That was one of the clues. Okay. Okay? There's a lot so of clues. You, in this thing. you can't get that from the movies because. From the, from the show? The casting can't be Not that really. close. No. Uh, you know what? After we go through the rest of this trailer, we're going to watch a video. Okay. Okay? Because it's not really a spoiler right now. Okay. But we're going to talk about the evidence. Okay? okay? So I know you guys are excited for that, but you got to wait until the next time we do Game of Thrones for this. Okay? That'll be next weekend. And then we'll do the Q&A the weekend after. Okay. okay. We're all excited, I know. But we'll talk about it later. Now, let's finish this trailer. <laughs> like, go frame by frame if you can. I want to see that sword. Okay, that really looks like his his carrying sword that's yeah. like a twin to ice. Yeah, 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 it looks like ice, just smaller. <sighs> okay, now we have Alice or Thorn and Night's Watch members. Yes. Hitting they're, the door. They're breaking in. Could that be the counterpart scene to Davos saying, I've never been good at fighting, so you'll... You apologize, you apologize for, what for what you're about to see. Yeah. Now, Calvin, if we'll talk about this in the other video too, but if L plus R, or R plus L equals J, J story cannot be done. Yeah. Especially if we're getting flashbacks about it. Right. Shit. Are you excited now? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, did you see that? That's Danny's palace in Maroon, on the highest part of the. Of the pyramid. Yeah. And it was being blown apart. Yeah. Either by siege weaponry or angry dragons. Maybe it'd be Searching dragons. for mommy. All right, Calvin. There's a boy. I don't know who's touching his head. Can't tell either. Yeah. Looks too thin to be Sam. Mm-hmm. Sam's gone. Okay. We've got some Assassin's Creed going on. Yeah, we do. Who's that? It was like Arya to me. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. I think we got some blind free running. <laughs> Maybe. Is that what it is? I think it is. Arya cut her hair though. Huh? Arya cut her hair. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. All right, Calvin. Uh, look at this battle. Shields. That is definitely. It's the that's the Flay Man of Bolton. Have Those are wildlings. Bolton. They're wildlings. It looks like it. Yeah, but didn't they say that these... John said, these men should not be fighting these wars, right? Well... But if John is alive, and he's no longer Lord Commander or member of the Night's Watch, and he's now... Maybe he's realized who he is, or something. He might have a bone to pick. The bastard... The Stark bastard versus... The Bolton bastard. <laughs> um, or so he thinks, maybe. I don't know. But, but I mean, he is t still technically a bastard, but he's not a Stark bastard. He's a Targaryen bastard. Calvin, we'll have to talk about this. But okay. we have no idea if they were married or not. He could legitimately be John Targaryen. But secret, thought, secret weddings have happened in the past. Rob and his girl were secretly married. Yeah, but I thought during the scene that uh, Littlefinger was talking to... Sansa? Sansa, he was like, he rode right past his wife. He had a wife. You can dissolve a wife. You can dissolve a marriage if you have a the blessings of the gods, though. We'll have to just talk, but... Talk. Let's keep going. Shit! Okay, so... I can't always... Really Tell you who this is, who I think it is. I will say is that was like a rope bridge. Where have we seen rope bridges? Castle Pike? Between the... Yeah. That looks like Reek to me. It could be. Or... Okay. All right. Flashback, I think. Yes. This is... That's Stark armor, and that's Targaryen armor. Yeah, and he's dual wielding. We've never seen that before. Dual wielding um, well. Yeah. That hair looks like... <laughs> Yes, it does. It really does. Okay. okay, all right. Who's on that horse? That's got to be John. That that is. That's it. Looks like John. That me. looks like John Snow. That is his 
Castle Black armor. I it's so hard to see, but it looks like John. It looks me. like John. There he is. All grown up. Calvin, what is he doing? He's standing. So is this? <laughs> is he standing for real, or could he possibly be having another one of his visions? It's in the north. It looks like it's in, in that little yeah. bowl just outside the, the tree. tree. Now, who's standing behind him? <sighs> <laughs> there's a White Walker back there, and there's them. He has one of those blades on his back, too. He didn't have that last time. Icicle? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So... The Night's Gang and Bran. Now, is he seeing Bran, or is Bran seeing him? Is this a vision? Can the Night's King... Maybe sense it. Sense the vision. He's a powerful necromancer. He could just be a powerful magician as well. Could be. Then, the very, very end, we have Sir Davos. He picks Takes up Longclaw, long the Valyrian steel sword, over John and members of the Night's Watch. Maybe John's loyal followers that are guarding us, but maybe he's about ready to kill them. I don't think so. I think people are breaking in. These are the people that are loyal to John, that are actually guarding his body. Yeah. What's he laying on? He's lying. He's laying his head on Ghost. Now I don't think Ghost is dead in this shot. I think. Ghost, I don't think he is. I Otherwise, think Ghost he'd be is laying just, on his I th- side. I think Ghost is is there. There. All right. But I think these are loyal members of the Night's Watch to John. I think Davos. They're stopping them from taking. Or people that are in the, the outside trying to break in are trying to stop them from taking John's body somewhere. Yeah. Where? We don't know. Possibly Melisandre. Maybe something else. We don't know, Cal. We have no idea what's going to happen with John. Even though it looks like he is attacking Winterfell, <laughs> we still don't know. The Ice King could get him. Or but the, the he... Red God could get him. <laughs> Does he have dragon's blood? <laughs> is has... it possible that, that Targaryen blood has the same properties as dragon's fire? And it yeah. Keeps you from turning? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's the, the, the secret. We don't know. Now, Calvin, John did get burnt. Oh my gosh, there's been so many moments, Calvin. We'll talk about this later. Alright, we'll talk about this in the other video. Alright? That's a good segue. Guys, uh, I know it's gonna suck, but you have to wait until next weekend for us to talk about the discovery of Detective Calvin. Okay? I know that you guys are gonna hate me for this. But we got a schedule to keep. <laughs> All right? You can't wait to watch Saturday's video. Uh, we're going to watch a video that I found that I've kept it in my computer for like three months. If Calvin <laughs> figures it out, we're watching this. All right? So make sure you guys are subscribed to Blind Wave. Make sure you go to the description, find all the links to our social media. Oh, my gosh, like the video. Oh, my gosh, come back next week. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Calvin, hit that fucking button. Go! <laughs> <laughs>